Hello, hey, hi, it's your girl, Rena the Great. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And we're gonna do a story time. It's gonna be a continuation of the last one. But I didn't expect it to, or I wasn't planning on breaking it up into two parts, but I did. So this one doesn't have an intro. So I'm just Raina from the future, <laughs> giving an introduction, saying hello. So like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, share, what else? Like, 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 subscribe, like, subscribe, comment, comment. That's what I was going to say, comment. Um, but yeah, welcome. Okay, so October, November. So, okay, so we're past the love bombing phase we're past all that now i'm starting to see the real him he's not giving me he is still giving me a lot of attention but it's not as positive as it used to be he's not as sweet as he used to be um and yeah he just wasn't what he was in the very beginning and so, but like I said, we're, we're feeling even more connected and addicted to each other. And like I said, I don't think it was an in love addiction. I don't think it was like, oh, I got the best cookie. No, but I do think we were addicted like sexually, like, because in the beginning it wasn't, but as we got, it's crazy. As we got more trauma bonded, the sex became even better. Like, I think our demons just were like addicted to, I don't know, it got anyways so okay yeah so october november we had thanksgiving i seen him but like i said it was all just there's nothing there's like a bunch of stuff that happened but it, i don't know i can't remember exactly and if i do i'll go back to it but anyways so now beginning of december there is this one i remember specifically i remember specifically Specifically, it was my friend's birthday. Okay, so then comes December. Now, I know I can't remember exactly when. I know it was during Christmas time, but now this was the first time he did his. Now that I'm looking back, I can call everything what it was. He did his first fake discard. So what that means is when the narcissist, um, they discard you they throw you away in the trash just like that but it, they're not for real they're just doing it just to keep you stressed out just to make you feel like you're nothing you're unworthy to make you worry about them to make you think is something wrong with them or is something wrong with me is that why they left me he already know i had abandonment issues so he, he you know uh, so if they know that they they know they know that like at the point in our relationship where i was he knew he knew like i felt like i needed him like that's another thing i forgot to say like gradually sex just became like i said and he would do this it was like i promise you he was demonic or like in a cult or something like he would while i was giving fellatio he will always make me say and at that walking to school it's 156 anyways um he would always make me say and he would always say i love you i need you i miss you while okay and that's very important just remember that okay so he is around this time he was he was doing that and it would it was a thing like every single time i did and if i didn't say it he would just be like don't you have something to say while i'm like okay so anyways he did his first discard so i he ignored me for about i think he blocked me too for about five to seven five to days to a week i'm pretty sure or at least it felt that long i don't know exactly how long but it felt that long yeah 
Now looking back in hindsight, I'm pretty sure he was um he was like with his wife and kid or maybe another female or I don't know, but that's what I'm assuming that it it was around the holidays, so he was probably like trying to put more attention over there or something. I don't know. But in my head I'm just thinking, did he die? Did he go to jail? Does he hate me? Like, I'm blowing up his... I'm texting, like, can you just reply to me? I just want to know you're okay. Like, what did I do? Like, what did I do to deserve this? I was so hurt. I was so distraught that after everything, after I keep taking you back, or not, like, taking you back like that, because, but, but yeah, taking you back after I keep accepting your lies, after I keep... You know, it's like a part of me was like accepting the abuse, but then a part of me was also anytime I tried to leave, he wouldn't let me leave. So it's like, not only can I not leave, but you're just gonna keep doing, but not only you're gonna do me dirty, but every time I would try to leave when you do me dirty, you wouldn't let me leave in the sense that, no, 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 you're still calling me, you're still doing this, you're still pulling up, da, da, da. and it's like, so I would keep going back. And so, but now all of a sudden you're just gonna dip out on me? You're just gonna block me. So every time I tried to leave, you know, blocking you, you calling from other number, doing all this, like still pulling up, doing all this, but you wanted to leave, so you just left. You just left, you know, and it's, I couldn't, I don't know if you got visitors at a halfway house. Probably, I don't know. But it's not like I would want to go visit over there anyway. But so anyway, my point to say that is that I never went to that house. So it's not like he knew. Like I couldn't just pull up and find him. Like his job was always at different work sites. So I couldn't just, you know, excuse me. <laughs> I couldn't just, like I said, pull up and find him. And he knew that. So that hurt me so bad. That hurt me so Sad, but I'm sure he was eating it up because I'm calling, I'm texting. I'm pretty sure I look like the most desperate alive, like ugh, pathetic. And he was, I'm, he was eating it up, like he was probably like, I oh, I probably was gonna go back a little sooner, but let me just make her keep begging. And when I do want her, I'll just call her up and it's gonna be nothing, right? That's pretty much what he did. <laughs> I had him blocked when he did that for a little bit, but I would unblock him just to be like, well, did he call? Maybe he called, blah, blah, blah. Like, because like I said, anytime I try to lead, he would never just be like, respect my boundary or respect me and be like, okay, deuces. You don't want to be with me no more? All right, cool. I'm out. He would never allow me to do that. So when he just decided, oh, I'm done and left, not only was I depressed, sad, I was angry. Like the betrayal, the just... Oh, and I was addicted to our toxicness already. So I'm having withdrawals. I'm like losing my mind. And he knows it because I'm putting it in the text. I'm losing my mind. I need you. Please. I need you. I need you. I just kept, remember I'm telling him like, I need you. I need you right now. I need you right now. Like, especially with everything that was going on and everything, like, I I was just like, damn, like, I need you. You said you needed me. We need each other. Like, and you just, hmm. Okay. So, um, he does finally call. I answer. I remember, too. I was in the front bathroom. <laughs> and I was just, my heart was racing. And I was just so excited when he called. And I tried to play hardball at first. But it's like, girl... How you can play hardball when you answered the phone? You shouldn't have even unblocked him. Like, and so he knew that. So we had a conversation, blah, blah, blah. And then we just got back good. I don't even know what lie he said or what, but I remember I just 
took it because I was so like hurt that I just and I needed my fix. I knew I needed to feel better, so I'm just like whatever. Like I wasn't like whatever. But I tend to stay in relationships a lot where I know it's going nowhere. You're not going to change. But it's so toxic and it's so chaotic. And that's what I'm used to. And now I do love you. So now I am living halfway in delusion. Telling myself, well, one day you'll change. And blah, blah, blah. Because when you're in that, oh, man. And then you got him being so hot and so cold. And, and saying one thing. They, they live... The narcissist, they live to make you confused. And he was so good at that. He was so good at that because I could tell him play for play what he was doing and he hated that. So once he figured out that I wasn't dumb and I was just not healed, oh, he used that. He played on that because no matter what, no matter how much I would tell him like what it is and the truth and I know what you're doing and this and that, he would, he would play into my like, just he would play into my triggers he, or, or I would play into them or he would trigger me on purpose or he would just do things like, no, I need you. I love you and da, da, da. And, you know, at the time him, not respecting any boundaries when I tried to leave him and he's still calling when I block him or he's still pulling up. He's like not leaving me alone, not leaving me alone. That made me feel like, oh, he loved me. Like, look, like, look at how much he's doing to get me back though. He must love me. Girl. Girl. Okay, now this time when he came back after when he abandoned me um, during Christmas, um, I I was, okay, so very early on, already like three months in or, but it, it progressively got worse. But like I said, those, those were the reasons why I stayed were horrible. And then I stayed too because I, I would want to see him hurt, like. I would talk smack to him. Um, like I said, I wouldn't... There's only three times where I put my hands on him. Um, and those were every t those were times when he was physically out with the woman and I knew about it. And I just... He would come back and lie to my face. So, um, so from that point on... Oh, yeah. So... Oh, and also, that's what I was going to say. I stayed because I was trying to figure things out. Don't stay and try and figure things out. You figured it out. He's a piece of leave. That's all you need to figure out. That's it. But at the time, I didn't think like that. I wanted to know who was he with. I was trying to figure out. Now I'm thinking like everything's coming back. I'm like, no, nah, he, he must like he must be with the wife or he lied about that. I'm just like, he must be with another man. Duh, duh, duh. Like my mind was just, and at that point I was with him and we, we were together, but I was trying to figure out that still, I'm not going to lie, but I wasn't letting him know that only when I was upset in certain arguments and stuff. So, um, so he's thinking I'm still all in like love, which I am. It's more so my addiction, but I'm also there. Like, I'm playing detective. I'm trying to figure it out, which is so dumb. So dumb. It's such a waste of time. Such a waste of energy. And all it's going to do is make you feel worthless when you determine your worth. So why are you going around like, ugh, I will never do that again. I will never do that. Let me, let me never say never. But I, you know what? I'm standing on business. I ain't never doing that again. <laughs> Okay, but, um, so I'm trying to figure all that out, blah, 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 whatever. So, um, so, uh, around that time, so now it's after Christmas and it's around my birth, my, not my birthday, my friend's birthday and New Year's. So I think we just celebrated it in one, or maybe I was only over there for New Year's. I think I was over there for New Year's Eve, but I remember it was New Year's Eve and Kane was with his dad and so I was like, hmm, what am I going to do? I ain't got nothing to do. So I hit up my friend. And I, I remember I was going to be with him, but 
he was doing something. We were doing something during the day or whatever. And we were supposed to meet up. And then, or my friend hit me up. And so I was just like, I told 26, like, oh, um, since we're going to meet up later, since we're going to meet up later, um, like, I'm going to go to my friends for a little bit anyways. And then, we, but we could still meet up at the time. I'm just letting you know, like, that's where I'm going to be. I'm going to go chill over there for a little bit. So cool. I had a feeling in my gut. I know I shouldn't have did that because he I already knew. I already know how my man was. I'm like, okay, I should have just never even told him and just went and then met up with him. But then I, I, he's so controlling. I didn't want him to see a picture or him say something. And then he's going to be like, well, why you got makeup on? So I was trying to avoid all that and be honest, right? I always tried to be honest or not tried. I was honest because I'm an honest person. I take pride in it. A lot of people don't not demure not mindful <laughs> um so i told him and i already knew in the back of my mind i said rena why'd you do that why would you tell him that because now that you went out he's gonna go out and do some bull he's gonna go do some bull yeah okay i already knew so but i'm like you know what it's new year's eve whatever I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to be with my friends and I'm going to have a good time. Like whatever he's doing is whatever he's doing. I'm not, I'm not arguing. I'm not dealing with it tonight. Not tonight. So, um, I'm on my way back to the house and I'm calling him and I'm like, okay, hey babe, I'm on the way back home. Like we can meet up. Bah, bah, bah. He was supposed to meet me there. Da, da. He's like, oh, I'm going to be a little later because da, da, da. Try to give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, not trying to argue and do all of that. But in that moment, I knew once again he's on some bullshit. Because he would, oh, he would do this thing a lot to where he put his phone on D&D. Bro, you're giving it away. Giving it away. And then, I didn't block you today. I'm like, bro, when you put me on D&D, I know you're with it. Okay? Like, it's one plus one is two. And so, um... I was furious. I was furious because I felt like we were just getting back on track. We were just da -da -da, and then he's already back on it. So I was furious and I had been a little bit that night. So it was extra bad. <laughs> uh, so I was extra angry. So I just remember um flying home because he said he's gonna meet me there blah 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 we're arguing and then he's like nah i'm not there i said so i, I remember we're on the phone and i'm like well, where are you where are you bye bye i'm pulling up right now and tell that she better be ready to run that fade because i was angry and i was ready to fight someone because i was like man i'm tired of fighting you like and i i never i make it a thing i never fight over man like physically because if I ever physically got a fight over you, I'm not, you, I lost. Like, it's, like, no, if you're let, no, no, I just, I have no respect for that. Letting a, a man, letting two women, like, scrap over him because he know he's sitting there lying. Like, no, 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 no. Um, But anyways, I was just furious. And I was like, I don't give up where you are. I'm pulling up. He was at Benny Hanna's. He was at a certain one that he would always take these little bitches to. The same one. I'm I'm pretty sure he took his side and his wine and his mm, the, the the servers probably knew all of them, you know? Which I don't even know how many it was. I, I just know of those two. Cause he was also just thirsty. So, you know, try to act like he got more, but I didn't sing that phone. You thirsty, desperate, pathetic, disgusting. Anyways. So, um, so I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna pull up, blah, 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 blah. So he sends a location. He's like, all right, pull up. Do this. So I, he thinks I'm playing. He thinks I'm playing because I'm not, I'm usually not this, but like he, not usually not this. Cause I, I've been like that a lot of my life, but I've learned that it's from my pain and I'm not really that. Like, I don't like to fight. I don't like to be confrontational. I'm outgoing. I like to be outside. I like to be around people. I like to talk. But 
I'm not trying to drain my own energy. Like, damn. But anyways, so back to the story. So I was angry, upset. So I'm... So I'm calling, he's still trying to blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. And he's like, no, you're not, no, you're not. So I send my location or whatever to show like, yeah, 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 I'm on my way. So then he was like, oh, damn. So then, so then five minutes after he called back, he's like, I'm about to pull up to the house. I'm like, I, I'm already in route, bro. Like I, you already said it's oh, okay, pull up, it's nothing. Like, no, he didn't say it's nothing, but he was just like, Oh, you're not gonna pull up, like duh, 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 duh. and I'm like, Yes, I am. And he's like, Well, you're gonna look dumb, you're gonna look dumb because I'm not with nobody but family, so you're gonna look dumb, don't do it. But then he's like, You're not gonna do it, but don't do it because you're gonna look dumb. I'm with family, and I was like, I don't give a damn. I said, Let me look dumb. I said, I'd rather look dumb than not pull up, like, just let me look dumb. And so I remember he called and he's like, oh, I'm about to be at the house. So I was pissed because now I'm like, I'm already on the, damn near on the freeway. I'm wasting gas. He was in another city. He wasn't in LA. Like, ugh, I was so upset. So I, I turn around and I start driving towards the house and I'm driving so just ah, stressed out, reckless. I freaking, I don't know if you know, but in LA going down Normandy, Norman die. Like, and the trash cans be like, out further i don't know it was trash day or something and the trash cans was like out further yeah i'm blaming the trash can because <laughs> it broke my side view mirror <laughs> yes the trash can broke it um yeah that i was it's not like i didn't have to swerve or do nothing like that i was going straight in my lane but the trash can was so far out and i was going so fast that i didn't just go around it i just went straight and it clipped my side view mirror and fucking shattered the damn glass so I'm, now i'm like now i'm pissed now i'm even more mad so i remember he's parked in my driveway and i pull up skirt 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 okay I forgot to say this part, <laughs> but by this time, like I said, we are in a very toxic relationship. And at this point, I had put my hands on him two times before. Like I said, going, it's hitting like this. I never, blah, blah, and I never went for his face, which I'm not saying I'm right or anything like that, but I'm just giving certain details so you guys can keep up, okay? So, I, um... I remember he's like too on the phone saying like, I'm not coming if you're gonna hit me. Like, don't put your hands on me. Like, I'll come, but don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. Which, which I hated too because it's like, bro, you got the audacity. Like, you know you out here doing wrong. You know you out here lying, and that's what you're worried about. You're sitting here trying to put it on me, pretty much like saying I'm the bad guy. That's why you don't want to pull up because I'm so scary and I'm just gonna beat you up and did it. He ain't never had a scratch on him from when I did. He ain't never had a scratch. He ain't never had a bruise. He ain't never had a bump, okay? Like, he was able to smile every time afterwards. We make up every every time. Like, and like I said, I never hit him in his face. Like, so, so, um, so the fact that he was saying that was making me more upset because I'm like bro you owe it to me to come over here and explain or just do whatever I say because you're wrong you're wrong what are you talking about you're wrong so he's doing all that and I'm just so now I'm like pretending to calm down which I would do and he caught on eventually like this night he was like no you always try to act like you're not mad at me and this was another manipulation thing he's trying to make me act act right and calm down and not go crazy on him and he knows that i felt bad for putting my hands on him because i told him i i I, don't, I was working on that i don't want to do that i don't want to be in that type of relationship so he like pinned that up against me like oh like look at you look at you look at you da 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 not never ad admitting to what he's doing never speaking on that N and it just drove me insane because i'm like I am in pain, you're hurting me, you're cheating on me, and now it's my fault, now it's on me, now you don't wanna pull up because I'm, I'm too mad because you're cheating. So I'm too, like, no, no. 
So I'm sitting there faking it, like, no, okay, like, I just want to see you, like, I just want to talk, ba 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 ba, like, we just need to talk about it, and da 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 da, and so, like, a he believed it, so he's like, okay, okay, I'm pulling up, like, you know, I need you, you know, I love you, like, stop, come on, like, I'm a, like, okay, okay, like, just eating what I'm telling him, like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, bring that ass here, boy, bring that ass here, boy, yeah, no, 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 bring that ass here, boy, <laughs> so, yeah, he, he was pulled up in the driveway, I don't know how long, like, I pulled up shortly after, literally made the noise just wilding out then i hop out the car and i pissed and i hop out the car and i get in his car and i just start instantly going off and he's just like you said you weren't gonna be mad and do all this and blah blah and i'm like and you said that you weren't gonna be with these you lied you're always lying to me you said you said you said and he's just looking me in my face with a smirk now because he gets away with so much i'm sure that he just like i got you wrapped on my finger he had a smirk he had a smirk he was just like big man on campus like while i'm sitting there like having a mental breakdown distressed like just going through it and so this was okay i'm not i'm not gonna lie this the first time when i did hit him in his face but it wasn't what you're thinking he was like this on like the middle console thingy like talking like talking and like i don't know if he was like this exactly but he was like this and like talking and i'm sitting and i'm like rah, 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 like facing towards him and he just kept looking me dead in my eyes and Lying and I couldn't take it. I was furious. So what I do, I went, I took this part of my hand on this part of his forehead and I said, boom, because I wanted to sock him in the face, but I thought about it and I was like, damn, I'm not trying to like sock him in the nose, his eye, but I, it was a clear shot and I wanted to, but I felt like too, like, eh, that's like a sucker punch. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like, nah, I'm not. Because I loved him, so I wasn't really trying to hurt him. But I'm like, I just felt like you need a whooping. You need some discipline. You need an ass whooping. Because what are you talking about? You sitting here lying. Like, your mama should have whooped your ass. Your daddy should have whooped your ass. Because I can tell you've been lying like this since a kid. Okay? And you believe your lies. You're, you're confident. <laughs> so I said, boom, right here. Boom. His head went like that. And I just start, boom. Boom, but I still was hitting like this. Nah, maybe a couple were like this. That night I was mad. He's like this, I'm like, boom, boom, boom. Um, but once again, no scratches, no bruises. Like, he was fine. And he, but, but he was mad this time. Like, he was mad. I, I think this is the first time I seen him get like, no, probably not the first time, but he was mad okay i'm talking he was mad so he was like i told you not to have me no more so he starts pushing me out the car pushing me out the car i think he reached over and opened the door because the house would get open but he um yeah he opened the door he tried to start pushing me out the car he tried to start pushing me out the car so i'm like i'm like no no, you're not gonna push me out the car. No. So I'm like trying to get myself back in the car. He's pushing me out the car. It was wet grass, so it's getting like mud on the car and stuff. And it's just like, ah, bah, 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 bah. and he starts to like, he starts to try to drive. And I'm like, no, no, you ain't pushing me out the car. Blah, 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 blah. So I, I, he had me like halfway out, and then I get back in the car. And then, um, and then I remember, so it's just chaos in the front. Mind you, this is not my, this is my house, but like, I don't own this house. I rent a room here. So, um, yeah, so he's trying to do that. And then, um, hey, Rena from the future again. <laughs> okay, so as I'm editing this, 
I'm gonna just clear up one part because yeah, I had some time to think and I think I ended that story wrong. Like now that I think about it, I m mixed up uh, a different incident with inside that one. So I'm gonna just tell you how, it, how that one ended and I'm gonna have to delete. Anyways, so, <laughs> um, okay, so I, I, I left off on the part where he was like pushing me out the car, pushing me out the car while he was backing out. The door was open. He's pushing me out the car. And then like, I just remember the grass was wet. Mud is getting everywhere. Cause mind you, it's like December, January or something like that. And I say that cause I remember specifically, he was so mad about that. Like mud in the car. I'm like, cause you pushed me out, bro. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just remember he kept pushing me out the car, pushing me out the car. I wouldn't get out the car. I wouldn't let him leave. And I just honestly, I want to say like we ended that night and like went back in the house after all that drama and just like normal night. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty positive that's what happened. Cause I, yeah. So anyways, um, so yeah, he tried to kick me out the car and I was like, no, you're not kicking me out this car. And you're also not leaving. That was another thing. That's why I was like, no, you're not about to kick me out the car and then leave. <laughs> what you thought this was. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's how that one ended. Stay tuned because I'm really healing and I feel like things are coming back. I don't know. I feel more confident in telling these stories now with the place that I'm in now. Not even like this, but I mean like the place in my heart. In my corazón. <laughs> okay. But anyways, like, subscribe, share, comment. Honestly, like tell me about your experience. If you guys experience this, like let me know. Let me know I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone. Literally, I know I'm not alone because y'all see everything that's going on with Cardi B and Offset, like, same situation. That's what I'm saying. Everybody be going through this. Only difference is they're rich, famous, and everybody in their business. So people care more because they're rich and famous. Don't nobody care when I'm going through it. I'm not rich or famous. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, like, subscribe, like, Subscribe, hit, like, subscribe, hit the comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave a comment. Okay, love you guys, bye.